One of the most critical elements in designing intelligently in parametric modeling is considering design intent. So what is design intent and why it is important when 3D modeling? We will talk about all this here in this video. In a nutshell, design intent is what you want your design to do. Maintaining your design intent through the design means telling the software what you want the design to do or how it should behave in case it gets subjected to any further adjustments. Another term that is often used for this is 3D modeling intent. To demonstrate this further, let us look at a simple example. We were given a 100 by 50 millimeters rectangular disc and asked to make a 25 millimeter diameter hole that goes through it. Assuming we want the hole to go through the center of the particular rectangular disc we have. Here are four different ways to position it as such. One, we can position the hole at the geometrical center of the rectangle using construction lines and other geometrical relations. Two, we can position the hole at 50 millimeters distant in the direction of the longer side and 25 millimeters on the shorter side. Three, we can position it at the horizontal center and at 25 millimeters in the direction of the shorter edge. And four, we can position it at the vertical center and at 50 millimeters distant in the direction of the longer edge. If we follow any of the four instructions, we will end up with exactly the same shape, a rectangular desk with a circular hole in the middle of it. Even though the results are the same, each of the instructions ask the design to behave differently, meaning that each of the four methods has a different design intent. This will show up when trying to modify the design itself. Let's assume that we were requested to change the rectangular's longer side from 100 millimeters to 200 millimeters and the smaller side from 50 millimeters to 100 millimeters. The resulting 3D model we will get after this change will look different in each case. The difference is quite notable. Keep in mind that none of the designs are wrong. It is just that each has behaved differently according to what we told the software is important to us. In other words, the design acted according to our design intent. For example, when we told the software the hole should always be at the geometrical center, then changed the model, the hole remained in the geometrical center. When we distant the hole by a distance of 50 and 25 millimeters from the edges, then changed the model, the hole remained at 50 and 25 millimeters from the edges. Geometrically, the hole happened to be at the geometrical center at the first iteration, but did not end up being the case after the adjustment because that was not what we told the software to do. Considering and applying design intent in our 3D modeling procedures might take more time and effort at the beginning. However, it saves lots of time at later stages when applying modifications to the design. Mostly talking, you will be continuously modifying your designs throughout the development cycle. This makes considering and implementing the design intent in your 3D models essential. The example explored earlier was a very simple part. The more complex your designs are, the more critical it is to maintain your design intent throughout. 3D modeling tools like SOLIDWORKS and others have many different tools to help you maintain your design intents. Those include equations, in-context features, multi-body part modeling, and more. Other than saving time, maintaining design intent 
makes it easier for more than one person to work on the same design. This is because all involved persons would have a clear idea of what the design should do. Thus, when one person modifies another's design, they would know how the design should behave and continue to maintain that desired behavior. Let's summarize some key points we talked about. One, maintaining proper design intent saves time in design modifications. The more complex the design is, the more time you would save. Two, it makes it easier to collaborate with other people on the same design. If you were not considering design intent before, now is the time to give that more thought whenever you are building any 3D model. Back to you now. Do you strictly maintain design intent when 3D modeling? How about your teammates? Let us know your experience in the comments below. If you would like to learn 3D modeling with experts and streamline content, you can check out our online school linked below in the description. All the programs you have there are self-paced and follow best practices in 3D modeling. The best part is, if you get stuck and have questions about any of the content, we have experts that are there that you can reach to to clarify your doubts. So it's a great place to start upskilling yourself. Again, we will leave the link for you in the description to access our T for Design School. Wait, <whistles>